defensively, for the most part, we let some penetration kickouts hurt us uh, more than we should have, particularly the last play when it was tied. We should have been better prepared for that. I thought we, uh, our offense was better. We got the ball inside. And when they doubled, we got the ball back outside and got some, got some pretty good looks. And, uh, you know, we made a good comeback. We get them down and we get the rebound and throw it out of bounds. You know, it's just uh, something that, you know, you can't do that, win games, two freshmen, whatever. And uh, the last play, Caleb was just supposed to try to go, and if he couldn't get anywhere, then use our last timeout. But, you know, he's, he's still learning. And, uh, you know, they're painful lessons that uh, you have to learn sometime. But I thought we... Uh, Made a great effort. Uh, Ten down on the road with six minutes to go. Is uh, I thought we really did a, a, the best job we've done all year in terms of getting the ball places. And Mike was aggressive, and uh, Chris finally got going a little bit inside. And got some, got a couple of boards and got kicked it back out. But uh, you know, it was a it was a good effort overall. But we. Uh, you got to make a play at the end of the game like that. And we didn't. Questions? Jim, 19 turnovers. Yeah. And how many uh, would you say were forced or unforced? We've got some young guys, and Rock is, is in a position where he's trying to figure out, you know, he's never really been the go to guy, and he made some great moves, and then he made some bad decisions out there some bad turnovers, but uh, that's uh, something that we're probably going to have to live with a little bit. Yeah, can you talk about just coming into this environment? The lines talked about, you know, the mutual respect between you guys. Can you just talk about uh, coming in this, this tough well, environment? it's a great place to play, and, uh, you know, it's, uh, I thought we played the best game we played all year, so, you know, that's a good thing. But, uh, you know, Michigan's a good team. They move the ball as well as anybody against our zone. You know, I thought uh, overall we played pretty well defensively. We, we forced them to take some tough shots, uh, but uh, we let them get inside a couple times and uh, got some baskets under the basket that we shouldn't let happen. But you know, they're people are going to score. They're a good offensive team, but uh, you know, it's. Uh, They've been a good team. They're young. We're young. Our young guys made a couple of mistakes at the end of the game that cost us. Coming out with that timeout with about a minute left, side 61. Uh, where was Spike on your on your radar as far well, as? Well, we knew they were going to drive in, either him or or, or well, one of them. And, and if they could get in, they would. And if they couldn't, they'd throw it back out. And uh, we didn't do a good job defending them driving. And we didn't do a good job closing out. Did you notice something Michigan was doing differently in the second half that they weren't doing in the first half of Penn State the zone, or is it just a matter no, of No, I mean, generally people get better offensively in the second half against our zone. It takes a while to get, you know, play against to get used to it. They're down at their end. So, you know, generally, generally uh, teams score better offensively no matter what defense you're playing in the second half if you look at statistics over time. Jim, your, your bigs were kind of expected to be the big advantage for you tonight. Would you, how'd you kind of think of, or what'd you think of Ricky Doyle's performance against? Who's? Ricky Doyle. Well, you know, we, we let them get penetration down there and get some baskets inside because we were so concerned about their three point shooters. And he, you know, he did a good job around the basket. Did, did his physicality give you guys any trouble down there? No, no, he didn't have to be physical. He was pretty wide open down there. Got some open looks. You know, we got to find a way to get him some open looks. He'll make them. He's made them over the years, but uh, he hasn't really got any. And uh, Rock got one. And Chris got him one. We, we've got to do a better job of trying to get him in open situations. If he's open, he'll make a good, fairly good percentage. Did you sense any uh, nerves late in the game from the young guys in one of their first big true road contests? No, I think I think they, they battled the you know, Chris really got going. He got the offense, he got the bucket inside, he got the rebound, threw it back out for Trevor, made two or three really good plays, got a couple of good defensive rebounds, and uh, 
you know, he just made a bad throw away on, you know, what should be a simple out in the pass. And, uh, you know, Caleb, you know, made a bad play at the end, but that freshman do that. Overall, they both, you know, they played well. It's the first real road game they played in college, and they, they did a good job, both of them. In, we we wouldn't we might not have made a shot, but we'd like to get a shot in the last game, last end game situation. Could have, they could have defended, we could have missed, but we'd like to get a shot in that situation. How much easier is it for you guys, the team, on offense and defense, when both Chris and Rack are on the floor? When, who? when both Chris and Rack are on the floor? Well, they're our best two players. Okay, thanks. Thank